Catalina, you're one of the authors of the article A Life Put on Hold. What is the background to this study? Well, when it comes to adolescence, treatment for eating disorders today takes much of its starting point in the importance of family system for recovery, even though adolescents themselves might put greater importance to other processes. We know, for example, that adolescents in Western society often spend most of the time in school, together with friends and at spare time activities, surroundings that involve different interpersonal relationships and might be both health enhancing and stressful. So the aim of this study was to investigate how adolescents with experience from a restrictive eating disorder describe their illness and their time in treatment in relation to social contacts outside the family. So tell me, how was the study conducted? Well, in collaboration with four specialized eating disorder units, we recruited 15 adolescents and former patients. They were interviewed and asked about their experiences, and then data was explored through a qualitative research method called inductive thematic analysis. And what were your findings? Well, the analysis revealed that these contexts have an impact on the development of the disorder as well as on the recovery process and the young people's descriptions of their illness follow a rather clear timeline. Let's have a look at the figure illustrating the different themes. The first theme here is about that first symptoms often became apparent in a context that the family did not have much insight into or control over. The second theme, which also has two sub-themes, is about how life is affected by the eating disorder. The last main theme is about how the adolescents often chose to create new life contexts after recovery. So what conclusions can you draw from these results? Well, how recovery progresses and how young people experience their life context after recovery seem to depend largely on the magnitude and quality of peer support. It's important to strengthen positive factors in young people's lives in order to enhance resilience and decrease the risk of developing an eating disorder. So what are the clinical implications of this study? Well, the results indicate that healthy social surroundings are crucial, as is contact with adults outside the family, such as teachers or sports coaches, for example. From a clinical point of view, it might be time to consider more multifaceted treatment programs involving different professions. This could facilitate more individualized treatment forms where processes within different social contexts are taken into account.